What's up guys, welcome back and welcome to Reset Corsa. and guys your eyes are not deceiving you, that is a, a Mercedes transport truck. Now what I thought I'd do here is because this is quite a unique mod, so the car we're going to be actually racing today is that on the back of the truck, it's a Mercedes 300 SLR, but what we'll, what I thought we'd do is as well, because look at what this is about is used to basically drive your car from track to track on the transporter then when you got there you'd have a night's rest or whatever then you'd race it but just check this thing out man but what I thought we'd do is so we'll sort of do what they would have done is so we'll take this thing for a little lap but if you look as well the cabin's like really far over the front axle now this truck has got the same engine in as the car now the car we're going to race has actually got a straight 8 in it I think, it's an aero brake, I don't know if it's a different model, but this has got a 220 brake horsepower, straight 6 in this truck, oh a huge lot up there, but guys i tell you what we'll do, let's take it for a whirl, <laughs> let's take it. So then guys, welcome to the Deutschland ring. In the, I think it's called a renter bargain. I could be totally wrong there. I could be totally butchering that. Basically, what it is, it's a transporter for your Mercedes SLR. Now, what a little trick treat this was from Mercedes back in the 50s, 60s, whenever this used to race. But what I thought we'd do is we'll just take this thing out for a spin. It's really a unique vehicle. This, it's this is a mod from Legion, guys. Now, as I said, we've got loads of Legion mods to come up with. <laughs> you're really sitting over the front axle on this thing so what I thought we'd do is maybe half a lap or a quarter of a lap or something just to show you this mod because the actual race is going to be what, what's on the back of this truck that's what we're going to be racing but this is the Deutschlander ring it's from one of Fat Alfie's amazing creations now this is actually a real track now this was designed as like a faster version of the Nürburgring, ring where they could really open the cars up it's on them it's on like the old, old, is it the old, old bonds? Yeah, the old, old bonds, guys. That's what we're pretty much driving on now. Then it's got like a technical section. Hard on the brakes. Oh, little lock up there. But really having a nice little dance with this thing. It actually handles a lot better than what you think, considering how heavy it is. Like it's, it's actually got a little bit of adjustability on the throttle. <laughs> oh, but what a mod this is. Now I was debating whether to race this or what, but I was thinking, no, but what a, what, what a great idea would be, like, added into it, like, a race, because, like I said, the idea is, you get in your truck with your SLR on the back, blast down the old barn through Europe or wherever, and then when you get to the track, maybe have a night's rest, and then you go racing the next day, great idea it is, <laughs> but I tell you what, it's very, very drivable, this thing, it's very, it's very, it's great fun, it'll do about 100 and 10 miles an hour if you give it, oh look at that man, pretty much drifting it in them corners, it'll do about 115 miles an hour I think, I mean that's really moving that but, <laughs> guys I will leave the links for this as well, but do remember is, it's the car on the back of this truck we're actually going to be racing, I just thought we'd have a little look at this, just tear it about, the Deutsche landering. look it's, it's really, look at that, look how playful it is on the limit, I can really feel the tyres, the grip, I feel like when it's pushing over the limit and all that, there's so much information coming back through the wheel. Blip that throttle, hug the line. Oh, there, you can see it. What we'll do when we get this house, we'll park it up, we'll drop the car off. I'll tell you what, actually, what we'll do, we'll take a closer look at the car we're going to be racing today. That's what we'll do. Okie dokie guys, now there's a closer look at the car, what, what we're going to be racing at date and what an absolute beautiful beauty this is. Now this was a car raced by Sir Sterling Moss and as you can see, if, 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 if any has ever seen it on the TV, he had that checkered like seating on his car. So it's, it's done to, it's done to spec. What a beauty, this is just an absolute work of all this. Now this is a mod from Legion, it's the same car that was on the back of the truck. So I just thought I'd add the truck in for a little bit of flair, you know. But look at all the carbon build-up off the exhaust, them side-mounted exhausts. 
Now this one's got a straight 8 in it, it's got 310 brake horsepower. Now I believe the one on the back of the car, that's got a straight 6 in it, with like 220. Now I could be wrong, correct us if I'm wrong, but this one, what we're racing now is, this has got 310 brake horsepower with a straight 8 motor. What a beautiful, absolute beautiful car. Now there is other skins with it as well, oh my god, my jaws just hit the floor, look at how st you know what it is, that gives a Ferrari a run for its money, that does. Absolute work of art, silver arrow. There's a black one as well. Oh my god, I love the black with the check, that goes quite well. But you know what skin we're gonna have to go with go when we're gonna have to go with the 722. But let's have a look at the British Racing Green. Nice there's a blue one. I love looking at these um like the artwork of the mods. I love doing this, I love showing you guys this. But this is what we're gonna have to go in. The Sir Sterling Sterling Moss. 722. I believe the 722s, it's from the time he started the race in the morning. So 20, 22 minutes past 7. It was the Mila Melia that this car was famous for. I think I'm right. Now guys, I never write anything down for these videos. This has just come from my mind, so to say, my warp mind. But I just love anything automotive. I, I think yours will be all the same as well. Anything with an engine. Let's have a look at the blueprints. There's all that great 3D modeling that goes into the mod. Now this is from Legion, now the truck, the both from Legion, the truck and this, now guys these are separate mods what you have to download, actually guys I've got this one at a Settle Land, but I'll leave the links for both for Settle Land and this in the description, what a stunning, look at all the artwork, absolutely beautiful, tell you what let's have a look at the, that gorgeous interior now, see what that's all about, <laughs> check this out man, now guys, if you, if you love cars, you should love this. The checkered interior is a little bit blurred up on closer look, but I'm not bothered about that. Look at the steering wheel, man. Look at the pedals. Like, the pedals, look how wide the pedals are. Like, is that the, the crutch pedals? Like, way over there on the left. The look doesn't look like it's got a brake pedal, but... Just absolutely beauty. I love that steering wheel as well. It's very similar to the one that's on the W125. Very similar. It's, it's qu actually, it's quite a lot new on that, but... This here, this bit here, this will probably come out so you, you can't put, fit a passenger in. Now in the Melia Melia, he would have had a passenger because he would have had a co-driver. So still, Moss was a hell of a driver. Anyway guys, we're going to the Deutschlander ring. This might be a little bit of a longer one the day because we're going to do four laps of it and it's about seven kilometers. But great race this is going to be. But it's going to be exciting. Right guys, put your sim belts on. Next time I see yous, it'll be in Germany. Right then guys, the lights are up, let's give it a rev, oh, saucy, look at that needle just flicking up and down, right then revs are up, off we go, let's give it some beanage, right then guys, now, we've got the AI on about 97%, we're at the Deutschland ring, one of Fat Alfie's amazing creations, but the AI here, they really are a little bit quick, this is attempt number two, I got major damage and I had to restart it. But the AI for some reason go really, really well here. Oh, we've got a major pile up. Major, major pile up. Big lot of the brakes. I don't know if we've got damage, but I still going anyway. Light them rears up. Aston Martin. I think Aston Martin and the Jaguar is a little bit lighter than the car weighing as well. But this track, this was supposed to like replace the Nürburgring, the Launch Life. Like it's supposed to be like a faster version where you can really like you can see how fast it's gonna be. When we really start opening these cars up. Oh, big kick over steer there. Right, nice and early on the brakes. Try not to lock the tires, bit the throttle. But just watch how quick the AI are on this track. Pretty much, I don't think we'll be making many places up. I really don't, but this car just feels so adjustable on the throttle. You can look at it, it's just, it's just got a really lovely feeling when you're on the limit of grip. It's got a great balance for an old car. Third gear, and I tell you what, I do not know this circuit neither. Not like I should know it anyway, not the race on. Maybe we should have turned the AI down. You can see how quick it all look. Oh, but 
what an experience this is going to race Sir Sterling Moss's car at a track that if the warden break out it would have raced here it would have been absolutely great wouldn't it when you think about it break that throttle 20 past 7 in the morning imagine what he felt like setting off on the Mille Amelia I think that's like a thousand miles or something but oh we've got great traction there but they, they got great traction on the exit we had a better entry let's try it's all about trying it trying to tame the oversteer, you can hear us on and off the foot a little bit too much, that's, that's not really the style you want to be driving if you want to be quick really, but that's just a, a good way that I get a feel about this car, like I, I really feel like the, when it's going to break loose and everything, I don't know, that's just the way I like this drive if I can, oh my god, what a beautiful sight that is man, an Aston Martin, the D-type Jag, and the Mercedes SLR, oh, Lovely bit of balance there though. See the air will break as well. Now that was really ahead of its time when you think about it. But right, watch the track now guys, it really starts to get technical. It's got loads of like these like hairpin switchbacks in it. Oh. But this is where the AI would take off before. Right, let's try first gear. Try first, get the nose in and balance it on the front. Hey that. Obviously that's the way to do it then, isn't it? <laughs> it felt better that anyway. Try first, I think I was using second before getting those in and really balance it on the power. Now let's get second get all oh, great little tussle we've got on with the SLR. Sorry mate. Sorry sir. Let's make sure we're giving room on the inside. First gear, really balance it on the limit of grip aches. See the car just snaking about at the rear. Let's get up the inside maybe. Oh no. I was thinking about it. Oh we've got someone behind us. Taking us now I think. Oh sorry mate. I didn't mean, I didn't mean to do that. That was a bit cheeky of us that like, but never mind. Oh bloody hell. You can s I don't know if I've overheated the tyres or anything but the car just feels like it's all over at the back end now. See the understeer there building up. Right then, that's that's nearly one lap of the Deutschland ring. Right, let's really open this puppy up now. Twelfth position, I think that's as far forward as we're gonna go today. Right, watch the numbers. Right, just imagine in the 1950s on an open top car going about 160 by an hour. Oh, we've got Nas Martin in the pits. This is like the old, like the old barn here, I think. So this is like public road, oh I'm really flying. Oh Jackie, she's a fly to this one. Oh sh oh my god. <laughs> wow. How did we get away with that? How the hell did we get away with that? I do not know. <laughs> but we're really motoring on here. But wait, look, guys, the EI are just so quick. You can just see them going over the power that hill. Really lift off there and try. Nice, that felt good. Like to me, that felt quick, but obviously it wasn't. It wasn't quick enough. Oh, but that motor does really sound tasty, though, doesn't it? Really tasty. It loves to drift. Absolutely loves to drift this car. Oh. I really do like the sounds it's making. Like, really do. Guys, if any is haven't tried these Fat Alfie circuits, like, it does a one in like France, it's called Fontenay. That's about 25 kilometers. Similar to this style, like, loads of little switchbacks, and it's really technical. And it's got the Feldberg ring as well. That's like another big track like this. All great circuits. It's actually got one called Thompson Road as well, I believe. I haven't done a video on that one yet, I wrote Thompson Road, but. Just stop man, and think how Sterling Moss would have felt racing this thing around the German roads. Oh no, no, went in there a little bit hot. Oh, we've got someone on the inside. Let's have a little tussle with this. British Racing Green. That's an Aston Martin, I think. Ah, it is. That's an Aston Martin. Cuts right hand drive. 
But like I said, I'm sure that's way lighter than what we are. So we've been on obviously a quite a good little race with him, I'm like, oh no, I understand why the game. I just I cannot hug me line as good as that Aston Martin. That is a Jaguar. <laughs> Look at it and go past as far as I'm concerned, it's just a beautiful sight. <laughs> Isn't it? It just looks stunning. Oh that felt good though. That did feel good through there. Oh our lines are just wrong though. I just that's the thing, I just one has not known this circuit very well. My lines are just all over the place. Getting the power as early as possible there. That's keep getting on the power there. Oh. There's another Aston Martin. It's just so much quicker than us. So much quicker. Let's try first gear on this little technical bit. Keep, keep, keep the power on. You can see how much better traction they're getting than us. Turn in. Feed the throttle and you've really got to feed it. The car just feels very nervous at the rear. You can see it's pitching it in there. First gear, let's try first. The second feels better, but first seems quicker. I know that doesn't make sense, but I just don't know. Very technical this bit of the circuit now. See it's starting to get really dark as well. <laughs> it's just so much fun to drive more. It really is. Look at the, I'm pretty much drifting it around there. If any of you out there are drifters, you really will have fun here. But I just need like a bigger steering wheel in my hand, I think. But, uh, I just wish I put the AI on a hell of a lot lower of a rank. Like I said, the one about 97%. Normally that's like a decent sweet spot for me. But not today in this car, but it just goes to show that you can't be quick in every car, can you? You know? Some cars I do well in, some I don't, but obviously they're just a hell of a way too quick for but really open it up now. Pedal to the metal, flat out, we are flying. 140 mile an hour is across the line. Right guys, let's have a quiet one and listen to this engine. Be good.
guys, we've actually caught them quite a bit. We're not doing too bad. And I, I'm sorry for it going dark. I actually did not mean to leave the like time multiplier on. It's on like times 20. I, I forgot to turn it off before, but hey, it's, it's actually, I'm sort of glad that I've left it like this because it really changes the way the track, like you can see the track, so to say, and barely see where you're going. Good job we've got lights. If we didn't have lights, we'd be super. But look how dark it is, man. That's the beauty of the soul and the shadows patch. It's just, oh my god, it's just absolutely stunning. At a glance, you'd, if, if it didn't have any of the hood on, you would, you would actually think that, that this was real. Oh, as we're stepping up the inside, bit that throttle, try and hook that eight. inside line. Oh, he's got his lights are blinding us from behind. He's on the outside, I think. I can't see in my mirror, it's too dark. Let's try the out, try and hook the outside line. Let's try leaving it in third and use the torque of that motor. That seemed to be the answer for it there. But, oh my god, four laps of this place. You really have to be on your game if you want to be fast and competitive. I'm actually doing a little bit better than I thought I would. When we first started off, I was really having worries. I thought we were just going to keep going backwards. Oh, but it just. It just feels so right. It just, this feels like I'm getting a tiny little bit of a feeling of what these cars would have been like a drive back in the 50s. Because these would have been barreling through these roads, dark or light, it doesn't matter, they would have still been flying. And if, if you, that's what it's about for Sims for me, if you get just a tiny little bit of what it would be like to race a real car, the Sims done its job in my eyes. That's what it's all about for me. Experience, just look at that man. The sounds of this engine sounds really tasty. Guys, this is definitely a Heinz variety, Heinz variety this. What a combo, track combo this is. About halfway through the last lap now. I recognize that from that building, that's all. Because this is where the track really starts to get technical. Whoa, look, you can just see what we're drifting this car all over the place. I should have put the tyre counter in the bottom right and we could have seen, just seen how much we're lighting these tyres up. <laughs> Blip that throttle. Oh no, I don't know, I've locked the brakes up. Locked the brakes up a bit too much there. Once the collie drops off its air, uh, once it gets below 5,000 RPM, it's just no power. You've really got to be up in its rev range to get the best out of it. Oh, Really use first gear and stab the throttle, get the pants of the car to come round, get it to rotate nicely. <laughs> oh, this is just so much fun to drive this. Look at this, I'm pretty much drifting it. You can see, I bet you there's loads of smoke coming off these tyres, because I am just absolutely lighting these things out, out of these hairpins. Absolutely lighting it up. If you look in the bottom left corner, you can see. That green thing's the throttle of the excel often on the throttle I am. But like I said before, that's probably not the fast way to drive this car. It's, it's the hooligan way, it, but it's the fun way. And that's what it's about for me. The fun. Oh, you can see the stars, guys. Look at the stars, man. <laughs> Smoking. Ah, yes. What a treat! Now, if someone if, if someone uploaded this video, I would sit and I would I would enjoy it. And that's another thing what I think is important. Like, if I would enjoy it, surely because there's someone out there who enjoys it. And I know Andy. Massive shout out to Andy Gorman. He always comments on the videos, and I just love reading the comments. He's, he he really enjoys the videos, and I just want to thank you, Andy, for your support. Me, but oh no, we've got a car on the inside. As we're going over the start finish straight for the final time, it's going to be a photo finish. Oh my god, who's it going to be? I can't see. Oh, oh no, we just got pipped to the lane. On the lane. <laughs> yes, see, man, that is great. Great fun. Wow. Wow. So then, guys, that was a race at the Deutsche Land Ring. What a hoot that was. That was an absolute hoot. And just look how stunning it looks. I know I'm repeating myself, but 
So, oh, big action there, that's that action at the beginning. <laughs> the Aston Martin, guys, if you want to see the Aston Martin at some track, name a track, drop it in the comments. But look at that, that's just a thing of 50s racing, pure 50s awesomeness. Now, as you notice as well, that it did get dark. Now, <laughs> I swear to you, I did not mean for that, that to happen. But you know what, I'm glad I did leave it on because it actually just added a little bit summer to the race. But this car, guys, what a hoot. This is, like I said, a mod from Legion, but this car, it's all about rear grip. It's all about trying to manage the slides. Because as soon as you look at the throttle, when if you've got like a little bit too much lock on the car, the, the rear will just rotate. But like, if you can get the balance right, it really does feel great. Like, you, you'll sort of see when we get into the more technical stuff. Like, you can see the car swaying about at the rear, like, it's like dancing, you can see it really moving about on its tyres. Like, it's up, this car is constantly, like, I'm not going to say it's floaty, because that's, they're the wrong words. I don't know, it's just got a nice balance, but at times it feels a bit bite. But it's, it is very playful on the limit. They can just say, watch, oh my god, like, I could sit all day watching this stuff, like, especially at, like, the track like this, there's all that cars you if you look, you can really see the car moving about on its tyres. Now, all of that information I'm just getting sent through my wheel. So I know when that car's doing that, I can feel all them minute movements. And these fat alfie circuits, the, the meshing on the cracks are done really well. So, like, it feels like it's got little bumps, you know, you can feel, feel all the, the jazz. But, oh, it's just like a body dancer, isn't it? It's like a body dancer in motion. Look at the car sliding there. What a hoot. What a hoot. Guys, if you're new here, massive welcome. If it turns out you like the channel and you like what you see, please go and hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video, drop a like, you know. I'd really love for it to build some it. And I really would love for it to hit 200 subs. Like, at, at this moment, I, I had, from filming this, like, this could be a couple of weeks before it gets uploaded. But what at about 194, then I lost one. So about 193 worth, so we need about 7 or 8 to hit 200. That'll be a great milestone. Oh look, we're slipping up the inside there though. Great stuff. 722, get back hooked. It's, it's all about getting back on the power though. See the flames getting spat. Oh, oh. These replays are so well done as well, aren't they? But that aero brake, like, like I didn't know that them cars done that. Like, and I have watched them race before, like, I've seen, like, documentaries on them and stuff, but I did not know that they had an aero brake. But, like, that's really, like, for the 50s, you know what I mean? But watch the car now here. This is what I've been wanting to see. On, the, on this more technical section, you'll really see the car start to dance, like, in the rear. Like, I'm pretty much drifting it. Like, there, you can see it's, like, f like feeling for the grip on the throttle. You can really see there. Oh, no. God, the beauty, man, that's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. His aero brake seems to be stuck up, so he must have, um, like, made something. I don't know, he's had a boo or something. Oh, yes. <laughs> Get back on the power there. Get out of the way, mister. <laughs> yes. They can hear, they can hear us really on the revs. There, there, there. We're sideways, we're sideways, we're sideways there. Look at that man, oh yes, really see that sideways. There was Taylor Mosk back in the day as well, the F1 drivers raced all sorts, of raced road cars, F1 cars, Formula 2 cars, they've done a bit of everything. And Sterling Moss, like I said as well, sometimes Sir Sterling Moss was 20 minutes ahead of his competition. 20 minutes ahead, now that's just crazy. <laughs> I think we had quite a good battle on that one night, didn't we? We really did. Oh, you can see some people there as well. Oi, oi. Whoa, look at that man flying now. Open that 722 up. Right then, guys, that I just thought we'd watch a lap of the replay, see what it looked like. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. I really love you to bitch. You're great. Right, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you. Peace from the North East. Doodles.